Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News, May 10th, 2020. Folks, I know a lot of you have already heard about this very, very large murder hornet. And I was doing a little research into this pesky little critter. And it seems that a lot of scientists think that the name given to this very large hornet is undeserving. And there has also been a video out there of a very large praying mantis devouring one of these murder hornets. Now, the murder hornet may pose little, if any, threat to humans. But that video showing a praying mantis devouring one of the evasive insects like an afternoon snack has captivated social media audiences for days now. Now, it is a little bit of a graphic 57-second viral video, and it leaves nothing to the imagination as the praying mantis disables the hornet from behind, neutralizes its stinger, and proceeds to eat his brain. And according to researchers at Washington State University, the aggressive hornets nest in the ground and they are known to decimate honeybees. And that's a big problem. In turn, Washington's uh, department, excuse me, Washington State's Department of Agriculture said last week that it would begin trapping the queens of this new species this spring in an effort to prevent the population from gaining a foothold. And that was just recently reported on Fox News. Now, according to the Los Angeles Times, the queen hornets, worker hornets, begin foraging for food and swarming beehives, cutting off bees' heads and sucking out the hive's larvae and pupae to bring back to their nests. And that starts to occur in the late summer and early fall. Yes, folks, I know that is kind of gross. Insects, to me, are very creepy. Uh, the only thing that I would actually not be afraid of is a caterpillar. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the hornet does feed on these honeybees, and we do need our honeybees. As of lately, they've been kind of scarce here in my area. Uh, the only thing that I've actually seen over the past three summers are the large bumblebees. Now, Desi Underwood is an entomologist and the co-chair of Cal State Long Beach's Department of Biological Sciences. And she told the LA Times, just like a lion feeds on a gazelle, you don't call it a murderous lion. Everyone has to eat something. So, like I said in the beginning, folks, scientists are sticking up for these large, murderous hornets. I find them very, very gross. They look dangerous. They're very, very large. And I would probably faint if one landed on me. Now, one scientist did state that if you are going to try to engage one of these murder hornets, meaning to take it out, kill it, you may not want to use a fly swatter. You may want to upgrade to a tennis racket. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching and stay tuned and watch out for those huge murderous hornets.